everybody. My name is Rashid Al Khaima. Uh, I'm a doctoral researcher from Ibn Sofal University in Kenya, from Morocco. I'm affiliated in the Laboratory of Language and Society. So my uh, my my study is about uh, I'm, uh, I'm, um, my area of concern actually is about uh, applied linguistics, and this study is about applied linguistics, particularly language education. So my study is about, I'm, I'm an EFL teacher, I'm an English as a foreign language teacher uh, in, in Morocco. Uh, my study is about uh, the use of humor in language teaching, the use of humor in the classroom, the use of humor in education, the, the use of humor to help students learn English and learn uh, all subjects actually, the use of humor by teachers to help students learn. So my study is about uh, investigating the teachers teachers' attitudes towards the use of humor in the classroom. So I'm going to talk about the uses of humor in the classroom. I'm going to talk again about the areas to avoid in using humor, what teachers should avoid in using humor in the classroom, the, the methodology that I have adopted in the study and the major findings that I have come, come up with. So uh, this, this idea of using humor in the classroom uh, goes under the umbrella of creating an, uh, a relaxing atmosphere for students in the classroom so that they can study, so that they can learn, learn better and achieve uh, better results and more effective outcomes. Uh, the, uh, the 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 background the the the, theory, the theoretical background that supports the use of humor is is for the sake of increasing increasing students motivation uh, to learn uh, developing their positive attitudes toward the teacher and the subject matter that they uh, that they learn and create an anxiety free learning setting in the classroom um, in this context, my study, my study uh, probes, probes and analyzes the possible advantages of, of integrating humor in education for the sake of what? For the sake of developing the level of attention uh, among the students, encouraging uh, creativity and imagination among the students, enhance the, uh, the, the relationship between teachers and students in the classroom and promote students positive attitude towards the teacher the teacher and the course and, and then um, the general the general objective is to help students learn and um, achieve better uh, educational results so uh, what are the uses of humor in the classroom that we use humor for educational uh, psychology um, uh, purposes to um, uh, to create an anxiety free uh, learning environment to help students be motivated and to help them again participate more in the uh, in the classroom the social role of humor is about is 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 about uh, um, creating um, uh, a, a positive relationship between uh, between the teacher and the student because the the, uh, the more approachable the teacher is the better, uh, the more students like him and like his class. And the opposite is counterproductive, of course. What areas, um, uh, there is another use of actually, uh, in the use of humor in the classroom for teaching and learning purposes is, is the instructional role, role of humor. It's a, uh, so we use humor for what? We use humor to attract students' attention. We use humor to help students uh, memorize more information in the classroom. We use humor to uh, to manage the class uh, better. Uh, we use humor to break the boundaries between teachers and students because teachers nowadays we are in the twenty first century. Teachers nowadays are uh, are no longer like robots in the classroom, like teaching robots. They they need to use emotions. They they need to come closer to the students. They need to understand their students more so that they can gain the, the, the love of the students. And we use humor to encourage creativity um, uh, among the students. And also we use humor to teach uh, many, many different uh, skills um, related to, this, uh, to, to the subject matter, matter being taught by the teacher. Like for example, in English, we use humor to teach grammar. We can use humor to teach vocabulary. We can also use humor to teach anything in the classroom. 
what areas should teachers avoid in using humor? Because not any humor is educational. Uh, there is some sort of humor that is, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that is not appropriate and, that, and should be avoided by the teacher, especially, um, uh, for example, uh, humor that targets uh, particular students, if it's uh, self or humiliating humor, or, or for example, teasing. So teachers, teachers should avoid um, uh, making fun of students or, or, uh, or uh, should avoid teasing students. Teachers should, uh, should also avoid being self-deprecated, like, like um, uh, making fun of themselves in order to, uh, because there are some teachers who try to make fun of themselves in the classroom in order to, to attract uh, students' attention or create uh, like uh, an, uh, a humorous situation. This can be counterproductive because students might, might believe that the teachers are, are, are incompetent. And there, and there is an, a, a, a dangerous uh, type of humor that teachers should avoid is racial discriminatory or even sexual humor. So I, I adopted uh, uh, a qualitative uh, uh, method in the study. I, uh, I used 30, uh, I distributed 31 questionnaires to teachers. Uh, for, uh, the convenient sampling I use is uh, the sampling strategy I use is convenient sampling because uh, the teachers were present in the research site. My major findings: most teachers believe that humor attracts students' attention. So, 13 teachers out of 31 uh, agree with the idea that humor uh, can help students concentrate in class. 18 teachers out of 31. 31, that's the total uh, participants uh, in my study. 18 teachers out, out of 31 believe that humor breaks down boredom in the classroom. 20 teachers out of 31 uh, confirm that humor triggers participation, it helps students participate more and more. 24 out of 31 teachers endorse the fact that humor reduces the level, the level of learning anxiety, like they, uh, humor makes students more relaxed in the classroom. So when, uh, since they are more relaxed, they learn better, they concentrate better. Um, many teachers agree with the opinion that humor makes their job easier. 16 uh, teachers out of 31 believe, uh, believe that humor facilitates uh, teaching and learning since it is carried out in uh, an atmosphere that is not threatening, that is relaxing. Teachers, but however, there are uh, teachers are divided, are divided. Teachers do not agree whether humor is associated only with those who have a sense of humor. Because there are some teachers, there are some people who believe that not any uh, teacher can be humorous, not any teacher can use humor. Um, the, the fact is that any teacher can use humor because humor is not only about telling jokes. Humor is, can be nonverbal, like facial, like using some facial expressions can be humorous. Uh, using a picture, a humorous picture, that creates a humor. Um, uh, um, uh, um, using a dialogue that is humorous can be, uh, that can, can also be humor. Humor is not only about, uh, about, um, about telling jokes. 21 teachers out of 31 believe that they have a sense of humor, that they can be humorous. 30, uh, 23 teachers out, uh, out of 31 again um, um, do not uh, contradict or um, uh, believe that humor does not contradict with teachers' appropriate behavior. There are some people who are not teachers uh, who say that you that if a teacher uses humor, then uh, then it's not appropriate because the classroom is not for using humor. The classroom is for education only. Uh, the the fact is the opposite. The classroom can also. You, be have, a, you have a minute to conclude, please. Thank you so much. He, the use of humor mm -hmm. in the classroom uh, is not an inappropriate behavior. In the opposite, it's an appropriate behavior. It's it's a helpful tool for teachers to, to help students learn uh, more and more. So, uh, so what are the recommendations for teachers to use humor? The uh, teachers before using humor, they should know their student likes and dislikes, what students like and what students don't like, because they may, because a teacher might, uh, might use a, a joke 
that can be provocative, might uh, uh, use a, a picture, a humorous picture that can be provocative. So the teacher should uh, should use humor that's uh, that is related to the to the textbook, that's related to the uh, to the course content. Uh, the humor that um, the teachers uh, should teachers should not overuse humor because some students might not be happy with the with the overuse of humor. That can be uh, that can also be uh, uh, counterproductive. Teachers should uh, teachers. Uh, should also rely on spontaneous humor. Uh, teachers uh, should, uh, um, anyways, uh, uh, teachers should also, uh, uh, um, it's not only teachers actually, but uh, the, uh, the people in charge of, uh, of education should include humor in textbooks for teachers to use, to, make, uh, to help teachers use humor more and more. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for your attention. And thank you very much. And I really wanted to clarify your presentation.